Hello, in this video, we are going to learn how to work with binary files in Python by using pickle module. Let's start with what do you mean by binary file? Binary files are files that contain raw data, so are not in human readable format. For example, image files like JPEG, GIF or Word, Excel, PowerPoint files, etc. They have their own specific programs which can read them. Now why do we need to use pickle module? This is because pickle module provides us with the ability to serialize and deserialize objects. So what it means is that if you have data in any format such as list, dictionary, tuple, classes, you can use pickle module to convert them into files to store them in hard disk and then it can read it back to you in exactly same format. So serialization is nothing but transforming any kind of object you have in memory into byte stream which can be stored into files. It is also called as pickling. Similarly, deserialization is nothing but converting byte stream back into Python object in memory which is also called as unpickling. So how do we use pickle module? We start our program by first importing the pickle module. We open the file in binary mode to either read or write. To store the object data in file, we use pickle.dump function. It takes three arguments. First argument is the object we want to store. As we just learnt, it can be string, list, tuple, dictionary or any object of your choice. The second argument is the file object we get by opening the desired file in write binary mode. There is a third argument which defines the protocol which we will not cover now. To read your data back, we use pickle.load. It takes in one parameter which is the file handle that you get by opening the file in read binary mode. It returns to you the object which we had stored in the file. Now the program that you could be asked could be write or append kind of program, read or search kind of program or read plus write kind of program or update kind of program. We will start with the simple write program first. For example, write a program to write below two rows to a binary file student.tat. Here we see that the data is in list format. We start our program by first importing pickle module. Then we open the file in write binary mode. Next we call pickle.dump with data and file handle to write the first row and then call it again for the second row. We do not forget to close our file in the end. This is our basic program to write into a file. If you try to open binary file, you will see it looks something like this and is not human readable. Now you could be asked to write the same program where you have to add or append the data to a binary file. In that case, you just need to change the mode to append binary and reuse the program. Now this is too easy. Most of the times you would be asked to take an input from the user and then write to a binary file. Like for example, write a program to write name and roll numbers into a binary file file.tat. The data should be in a tuple format with name and roll number. Here we will start our program by importing the pickle module. Then we will open the file in write binary mode. I am using with over here which is alternative way to open the file. The good part of it is that we do not need to remember to close the file as it handles file resources automatically. Next we will set up standard while loop which will run till user is done with entering data. We will first take in the option from the user 1 to add data and 0 to exit. If user enters 1, we will take in name and roll number from the user and call pickle.dump in tuple format as given in the question. If the user enters the option 0, then we break and exit from the while loop. 
This is our program to write a binary file. Now this is your template for any kind of write program. You need to just change the file name, mode and data to be input from the user and object you need to pass to pickle.dump. For example, the program given could be to write to file customer.dat data in given format where the data is taken in from the user. So I will just change the file name mode to write binary. Take now this data from the user and change the object to list with the new data. This gives us the new program. Or the program could be that append to binary file customer.data in given format where the data is taken in from the user. Here you just need to change the mode to append and your program is ready. Now we will do programs which ask us to read or search from a given file. Like write a program to read all contents from a binary file, file.dat. Here again we will start our program by importing pickle module. Next we will open the file and read binary mode. Now we know we need to call pickle.load with file handle and it will return to us the object which we can print. We need to call the load function every time for each object. Now we do not know how many objects are there in the file. So what we will do is put this in infinite loop. But there is a problem with this infinite loop. When I run this, it prints all lines but once all objects are finished, I am still trying to load so it gives me end of file error and it crashes. We cannot submit a program that crashes. We can avoid the crashing by catching this exception. We do this by enclosing the block where we are expecting the exception in try except block. This is exception handling block and you can specify which error it needs to catch. Like in our case, we know the error is end of file error. And what should the program do in case this error occurs? We just want to come out of the program gracefully without crashing. So we will just put break for it to come out of while loop and stop the program. Now this is your standard program to read from a binary file. You will use this as your basic read template and just change this as per the question asked. Also note the output it has given. You will see that unlike text file, binary file maintains the data type exactly as you passed it. So the list is returned as list. Inside it, string is returned as string data type and int as int. You do not need to do any conversion for further processing. What you typically might be asked is to do selective read means display only specific rows or columns. Let's first see how you display only specific columns. Like if the program was to read from a file and display only student name. We will take our standard template. Now you already know this program gives you entire row as a sequence. If you want to print only specific columns, you just have to use indexing. The program to read all rows remain the same, but now instead of printing complete row, you will only print row 1. Now if you run this and see, it will print only the student name. Now that we have seen how you will handle selective columns, let's look at how you will manage selective rows. Let's take another example. In this program, a file customer.dat contains city, customer name and amount as double. Search and print all rows where city is Delhi. If you see the question, search actually means selecting and printing specific rows as per the condition given. Here we will take our template read program which we use to print all rows. We will change the file name first. If I run this, it will print all rows. But we want to print row only with city Delhi. If a program asks for specific rows, then a if condition will get added before the print. Like here to check if city is Delhi. 
Now which field or column in the row we need to check? In the row, city is in which column? At what index is the city? It is the first column which is at index 0. So we will write our condition as if row 0 equal to Delhi, then only print the row. Here also remember, we should always do lower so that we do not have any issues due to improper case comparison. Now in all such questions, only the search condition will change. What if it is print where customer name has Anil? Now again the entire program remains the same. Only your if condition will change. You will just say if Anil in row 1. Or the program could be to find the sum of some column like find total amount of sales where city is Delhi. Now let's again take our basic program. Here we will set sum to 0 initially. We know city is at 0 index, so we can just write our if condition to row 0 dot lower is equal to Delhi. If the row is Delhi, we just need to add amount which is at row index 2 to sum. Once we are out of the loop, we can just print sum. This is our final program and if we run this, it will print sales amount for Delhi. Now the question could also be to count the number of rows that are there in the file. Here you will just initialize a count variable outside the loop. Inside the loop, you will just increment the count. Once you are outside the loop, you will print the count. This program will give you number of records in the binary file. Next set of programs are read plus write programs. Here you are asked to read from one file and then write or append to another file. The read could be selective read of specific rows or columns. Let's start with a simple program where you have to write a program to copy all the data from data.dat to new.dat. These kind of programs are just merging of read and write template you have just learned. So we will start with first importing the pickle module. Then we will open the first file in read binary mode and second file in write binary mode. Next you will write the standard while loop to read from the binary file. Inside the loop, instead of print, you will just write or dump the row to second file. Once you are out of the loop, you will close both the files. This program will read object by object from first file and then just copy all of them to the second file. Now this is your standard template for read plus write kind of programs. We will just see how we will handle different variations of questions by just making some change in this program. Suppose the question was that a binary file data.dat has come in from branch in Pune and it needs to be added to file new.dat which has data for all branches. Write a program for it. Now here the data is not to be written. It is supposed to be appended. So only change we need to do is to change the mode to append. This will append the file you read to the second file. Now the program could be to write some specific rows or columns to new file or change the data type. Like for example, a file sports.dat contains information in following format. Write a program that would read the contents from the file and copy only event and participant from sports.dat and stores it as a dictionary in a new file named event.dat. Here again, we take our standard template and change the file names. Then in write, we need to pick column 0 and 2 and write it as a dictionary. This is our final program to write specific fields and convert it to a dictionary. If you run our previous read program on event.dat, you will see it will give an output like this. Now the program could be to write specific rows to a new file. Like a file sports.dat contains information in following format. Write a program that would read the contents from the file and only those records from sports.dat where the event name is athletics 
in new file athletics.dat. Here again we will take in our standard template. We change the name of the file as given in the question. After we load the row, we put in our condition to select specific row that is based upon the condition if row 0 is equal to athletics, then we copy the row to the new file. This is our program to do selective row writing to new file. If you run our previous read program on athletics.dat, you will see that it will give an output like this. Next set of programs are update kind of programs where you are asked to update a record from a binary file. Like for example, a file employee.dat has employee data in this format. Write a program to update salary of a person with employee code as E002 to 50,000. Here we will take a standard template of read program. However, here we need to make changes in the file. So we need to open the file in read plus write mode. So we will add a plus over here. If you run this, it will show you the content of entire file. Now, if you were just asked to read row which has employee code as E002, you would have just added a if condition before print and it will display only that row. But what you have to do here is to update the salary of this employee. So what we will do is first update the record in memory. So in this record, we will update salary which is at index 2 to 50,000. Now I need to write this record back into the file. But the problem is that I have already reached the end of the record after reading it. How do I go back in the file to update it? The solution for this is that before load, I just use a location pointer which holds the position at the start of the record. The tell function gives us the current position of read pointer in the file. Then if the record matches, I update the record and then use the seek function to go back to the beginning of the record which was saved in the record pause variable. Then I call pickle.dump to update the file. This is our program to update a specific record or object in the file. If you run a read program or employee.dat, you will see that the record is updated. If you want to practice more questions on binary file, you can visit our website simplycoding.in for more practice programs on this. Thank you and goodbye.